Indians were desperate to beat Cambridge on the 25th of April, as they needed all the points they could muster to lift themselves clear of the relegation danger zone. However, it wasn't to be Vale's night. Hillchapel knocks it down, and Lowe might be in with a chance here. Great save. In comes Brian Mills. Mills scores. Brian Mills picks up the rebound after David Lowe makes the most of an error at the back by Cambridge United in time added on in the first half. Well, they should have cleared this. It drops to Lowe. He shoots. It's a great save, but Mills is in there fast and hits the roof of the net. 1-0. Keep the pace up, keep the pressure up, keep the bodies in there. Chapel's in there, Norbury, not a good one. Out to Dennis, Port Vale push out. We'll be careful here. Forward by Claridge. Claridge can get this one, but he needs help. Good turn, well played. You can get it in now. Good effort. And there it is by Heathcote. Mick Heathcote with the equaliser less than four minutes after the start of the second half great play by Claridge did a superb job as a smattering of a smile there well a wonderful cross a good header by Mick Heathcote and they're back in business Chapel looking for a full pot Put a swan, didn't know where that one was going. Claridge, Rayner, Dennis chasing it. Oh, there's a push there. It's a penalty. A bouncing ball as uh, Tony Dennis went for it. The leap was certainly inelegant by the Dutchman van der Laan, and the referee pointed straight to the spot. Van der Laan not at all happy. Port Vale in some disarray here, but it's a chance now for Cambridge to take the lead. Meanwhile, the referee's been busy. Looks as if the goalkeeper's been booked, it looks as if uh, Peter Swan's been booked. And a red card for Peter Swan. He must have gone really over the top there. So things falling apart for Port Vale. Claridge going to take it, doing up his bootlaces first against former Ipswich goalkeeper Mark Grew. He scored. Cambridge are in the lead. A kick taken by Rayner. Oh, and it's a good header by Norbury and Hakeem. Great goal by Phil Chappell. Well, it's a good cross. Norbury does very well here. Knocks it down, and Chapel gets in front of his man and hooks it over the goalkeeper's head. That was a great piece of play by a central defender. It's going to be taken by Ray Walker. The wind, of course, still causing problems. Glover on the near post, and Parkin has moved back. And it's whacked in by David Lowe. 3-2. Richard Wilkins with the long one again. Norbury leaps. Norbury again. Heathcote. Phil Pop. Well, Phil Pot, I think, with the final blast. But Norbury came very, very close. So too did Heathcote. But it's the four. Well, they have problems. The wind is causing them more problems. The technique, and Norbury bangs it against the bar. Now, Mick Heathcote is blocked. And from a very acute angle, Lee Philpott hits the fourth. The score at the final whistle, Cambridge United 4, Port Vale 2.